What's up, Timekeepers? Me, Time Gamer here, bringing you the sixth episode of Elevated Pitch Review, bringing you the quick positive and negative of a new game recently released. Let's get started with our next game, Vostok Inc. Roll the intro! Before we get into the positive and negative, let's go through the quick details about the game. This game is available on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, and will eventually be on the PS Vita. I personally played on the PS4 version of the game. The game was released on July 27, 2017. The game was developed by Nosebleed Interactive and published by Badland Games. The genre of the game is a twin-stick shooter and resource management. The ESRB rating of the game is Everybody 10+. Modes available for the game are single player, and the distribution method is download only. I would like to thank Badland Games for the copy of the game for review purposes and video playthroughs. Alright, let's get into the positive of the game. Initializing Warp Core. All right, new solar system, here we go. New aliens, new everything. The game features very funny dialogue and interesting story, well, story between brackets, basically taking you through a couple solar systems and defeating different types of enemy while bringing Vostok Inc, your company, into more prosperous scenes. The game offers a great variety of weapons and upgrades that allows you to mismatch them for different uses in different situations, which also allows endless possibilities. The resource management of the game is very easy to understand, and someone like me that don't play a lot of these games had very fun time understanding how to play the game, and really felt that you can just drop into the game without any issues and just start playing. Another positive of Vostan Kid is the game is very atmospheric and has a very vibrant art style. One last positive of the game is that it has a very interesting enemy variation, anything from squid monsters, your basic drones, to all sort of pets and animals that you wouldn't imagine in outer space. On to the negative of the game. Now, I don't know how long I'm, uh, I'm already at three. That's not good. And I'm dead. Damn it. I just lost half my fucking money. Right. Now to some people less familiar with twin stick shooters, this game might feel repetitive when it comes to combat, meaning you're just shooting in a circle trying to kill all your enemies and uh, from solar system to solar system the enemies might feel the same sometimes but not all the time. Another negative of Vostok Inc. is that you cannot turn off the tips and sometimes the tips at the bottom of the screen can get annoying and repetitive because it keeps mentioning the same tip over and over again within a fraction of a couple minutes. Keep in mind this might be something that the developers might allow you to turn off at a future date. Also in another negative for the game is the lock screen events that happen once in a while it might seem a bit too frequent sometimes and might get away of your resource management. Now I'm not too sure if this is intentional in the game, but as sometimes when you're doing multiple things at once, lock screen events which happens once in a while might seem like it happened too frequently. One last negative for Vostok Inc. is I do feel like sometimes you have to wait a long time to earn some money, so a little tip for that if you guys are playing the game, there is a workaround of this is if you're finished playing the game, probably just let the game on and it keeps collecting money for you. That's one way of going around it, but sometimes if you're playing right in the moment and you're trying to get past that, well, it can get quite often a long waiting to accumulate the right amount of money to get the amount you need. Final verdict for Vostok Inc. is buy it. This is a great in and out game when you're trying to kill time or just kill a whole bunch of alien opportunists that needs to understand the way of capitalism. For some, the game might strike as repetitive, but the game has plenty to offer, right down to cool little mini games. To get a better understanding of my review scale, visit the link metimegamer.com forward slash review dash guidelines. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me everywhere at MeTimeGamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here at YouTube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for watching the sixth episode of Elevator Pitch Review, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.